Okay. Just kind of planted your head in the ground there, didn't you? Hello and welcome to the channel, and for today's video, we're back on Hunting Simulator. Yes, I did it, I bought the full game and the DLC. Two things. One, it might actually end up looking a little bit better today. I was unaware that even though the setting said that it was in full screen mode, uh, something caused it to actually be in windowed mode. That has been rectified. The other thing is that at this point in time, I have no idea if you even want to see this, because the first video is on the channel, but it has not been released yet because YouTube is taking a good long time to process it. So, first things first, we're just gonna do the campaign. Oh, there is a lodge. I've, I've gone ahead and clicked lodge. We're gonna go check the lodge out, apparently. Um, wait, what? So, left stick. I don't have a stick. Uh, I can use arrow keys. All right, so it would appear uh, we need to go back and look at that after the hunt. It would appear that it automatically saves, I guess, your highest trophy. The other thing we're going to do here is we have set it on hard. So hard is for the experienced hunters that enjoy the slow-paced nature of a true hunt. Less animals will wander around, which in turn means they drop less tracks. Tracks will be harder to find, which makes stalking less forgiving, but a bit more authentic. Ammo will be limited. Was it not before? I don't remember. You'll need to make your shots count. On-screen aids such as animal calls and the compass are removed. That's interesting. So we're going to leave it there. We're going to do that and we're going to go campaign. Hard. Oh, I couldn't do this earlier. Fat white guy. Fat white guy. Hey, there's Beanie Man. Beanie Man from the first one. They do not have a fat white guy. Like, I like the hat and the shirt. Yeah, we're going with that. Sure. No. We don't want to do the tutorial. We did that already. Okay, so now it looks like we actually have to accomplish things to unlock stuff. Okay, so if you click on their name, all you do, all that happens is it brings up their Steam page. You have no friends. Oh, you. So did it... Query failed. Leaderboard may be empty. Okay, okay, all right, yep, 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 all right, so the nose does, that, that nose does. So first things first, claim a mule deer over 50 meters. What do we have for weapons this time? I just kind of like the looks of that. Can I... We're still stuck with just the basic scope. I think we had like a 2.4 last time or something. I don't know, so we're going to go with that. Secondary weapon... So, okay, so those are like weapon glasses. So basically there's big game, medium game, and, and small game. Okay. All right. Uh, you know what? We're going to stick with none. I do not have any items. I'm guessing I had to buy those? And regular binos. Hang on a second. Can we go back for a second? How do I... Oh, I guess you just unlock them. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go out with... Uh, is that the right rifle? Yes. I just want to make sure. All right. So we're just going out with a rifle and binos. We got to get ourselves a mule deer from over 50 meters. Easy enough. Uh, aim assist off. Why? Shouldn't that already be off? That's still like, this is my DPI all the way down again. All right. Um, I thought it said visual trackers would be off. So there we are. Got a cowboy hat and denim. Four, deer, four and going south. Oh, so we're already headed the right way. All right, well, I'm going to go track this bugger down and uh, see where it goes from there. One quick side note I just want to point out. It's long, but it is a very narrow reserve. I mean, this is a huge map. Why isn't all this open? Huh. So, we got a, uh, a fox right there. Can I? I can't take a fox with this, can I? But I think for now... Oh, that's weird. The grass disappears out of render range. Which, I mean, it it does that anyways. Um, oh, you know what else I just noticed? We're not getting the animal senses. 
that little thingy in the middle. It's actually kind of nice because I have a lot less stuff going on on the screen. But uh, I think we're going to ignore the fox and keep to our goal of finding the mule deer. You know what? Let's do it. Boom. Yeah, and there's no uh, thingies that popped up saying animals are viewing me or running away. That's interesting. All right, well. I just, it, it was going to keep wandering towards me. I wanted the fox. It's on my way to mule deer, I assume. Or I just messed up the rest of this hunt for myself. I almost completely walked around this thing. Let's take a look here. Uh, this isn't called a wild. You can't fold down the grass. All right, let's see. Uh, vital, no vitals hit. I can't find my mouse. How, how no vitals hit? That should have been a perfect... All right, that's fine. But we need to be very steady because... We look right there. That's a big and mule deer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stick it. I'm going to do it from here. And I'm going to stick it right in front of that shoulder. And we're going to catch a lung. That's perfect. Most of the areas in the animal, in the animal, most of the animals in the animal, most of the fleeing in the animals, they're all running away because they heard boom gun. Boom gone? I'm trying to do more than one recording today. I'm actually going to try and get them both edited today. And I may have bitten off more than I can chew, because apparently my brain is fried already. You're not a bad looking mule deer right there. Alright, let's take a look. Lungs. 130 yard shot. That gave me a score of 467. I don't know what that bar at the mean. You can now use the 22 semi-automatic. Nice. And I got achievements. There's turkey? Well, you've already got another point going for you. Uh, wait, what am I going for? A sheep? Yeah, basic setup. I don't need lures. Hit it in the heart. A bird running across the ground right there. Okay, so I'm supposed to find... A bighorn. Where am I? Oh! I'm an idiot. Let me guess. If I go free hunt, this whole reserve opens up. It's limited because of the mission. Oh, so these reserves are actually quite big. You know, the more I, I deal with this thing, this game here, the more I think that for the money, even 30 bucks. It might actually be worth it. I mean, it's not Call of the Wild, but then if you want everything for Call of the Wild, you're looking at, what, $85? Anyways, so I'm gonna go find me a bighorn. So I go walking off into the woods, right? Like, man, I don't even know where to begin to look for a sheep. Literally, I, I turned every direction but this way, and there's a track right here. What do we got here? Oh, poo. I'm assuming elevation is going to be my friend on this one. I am still kind of curious. I do not know what the render range is for animals. All right, we've actually traveled a good ways here. I just decided to climb this hill to get some elevation and came across another track. A lot of poo tracks. But uh, it said two hours, so we're catching up. I also don't know... Hang on. Okay, it is 10 seconds in real life to one minute in game. So every minute is six minutes. So every 10 minutes is an hour. So we are currently 20 minutes behind. Assuming that that's how that works. But then by that math, we've also just gained 20 minutes right there. Okay. Alright, I made a comment in the last video about the holding, how they hold the rifle, and it is way too far up. 
And here's the problem. So you got the little reticle there in the middle, and I can use that so that when I switch to Bino, I know I'll be looking exactly where I want. The problem is there's a dot down there that I want to see if that's an animal. But if I try and get my reticle lined up, the scope is actually blocking my view. And I don't know what I was seeing, but it's definitely not an animal. I potentially have gone too far? Oh my lord, look at that. I haven't been here when it rains. The gun is getting wet. That bird is stuck in the ground right there. There it goes. That looks fantastic. I mean, if they could just expand on the environment a bit better, like the new one, they're advertising immersive environment that makes you keep coming back for more, yada yada. Yeah, you need to do better than this, but with the new engine, they would definitely have that capability. I'm going to keep heading this way. Oh, frames. I, why frames? You're not lagging. I actually don't know why I'm getting this weird stutter right now. Because the GPU is at like, it dropped to like 65%. Now it's 92. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm wondering if they use a tile loading system. So basically, as long as you're within a certain area, you're... It's only loading to your VR, your VRM, your VRAM a certain amount of the map, and as you move, and it just try to load in a huge chunk of the map or something. Yeah, that is so weird how it does that. Every time it starts to do the stutter thing, my GPU basically just nothing's loading up. Absolutely nothing's loading up. Mm, nope, not CPU. That's just weird. So I've been sitting here going, man, it's starting to get real dark. We're actually running out of time. Uh, what did I figure it to be? One... Ten seconds a minute? The six minutes of... Every ten minutes is... An hour? We have... Forty minutes... Thirty minutes left. I did math. Thirty minutes left before it's... End of this mission. But it doesn't look like we have that much sun left. I'm guessing because it's on hard and it's the campaign mode or mission style that they're... See what I mean? There was something right... Ooh. Ooh, that's a big one. I know we're here for sheep. I mean, that's a good range. He's quartered towards me. I really kind of don't want to take that shot. But at the same point... I'm running out of stuff to do here. Dang it. He just stopped again behind that hill. Here we go. Nailed it. I didn't see anything else running around or either, so I should probably reload. I don't... Still no sheep. Wait. Oh, I found a bunch of mule deer. This is a great spot for mule deer, apparently. There she goes. Crumpled. And I... There we go. So that was 161 yards. Uh, I guess this is only a 2 by scope. Still, I got a 498 for that. Lungs... Still no sheep. Alright, where are we going? Oh. It's doing that thing again. My mouse is stuck. I don't know how to... Yeah, I don't know how to fix that. So it just randomly goes like this. I'm all my mouse pad. No movement. So the map is now officially useless to us other than to hopefully be able to see that I want to go that way. And I'm still getting that some of that weird frame stutter. Okay, I don't know if that was the doe or potentially a sheep, but I th thought I heard footsteps. It's getting really, really hard to see right now. It doesn't help that for some reason every few seconds or so it just starts stuttering. It's not the GPU. The GPU, like, when it starts stuttering, the GPU goes down to like 66% usage. And then it smooths out and comes back to about 8990. Where is this frickin' sheep? 
I wonder if I should go... Oh, I can't move my thing still. Um, I'm willing to bet I probably should have gone north. Yeah, I, I would love to be able to show you, but I can't. I probably should have turned north instead of south. The animal probably went that way. I think we're going to end up losing this one. I got to just restart this mission. Hang on. Okay, look at that. So, so far, so good. The first two tracks were in the exact same spot, and it looks like when I came through last time, I missed this one right by the rock. But I'm guessing they are all in the same spot, being as, again, it's part of the campaign. Got boops a lot. One hour north. Yeah, so we went south, they went north. But at least we got some mule deer out of it. I have no idea if the mule, if we get to keep the mule deer. Like, do they still count them even though we restarted the mission? Alrighty, so... There is our boy. He appears to be lying down. Okay. Oh, and then he's got a female with him, too. I don't know which way the wind is going. If I had a guess by the clouds, not very much in my favor. Alright, so I'm going to try and get up that ridge line there. And get to a spot where I can take a broadside. For the sense of realism, I'd get that there would be noise, you know, from scrubbing through the grass. But honestly, it's kind of nice not to have that. I mean, whether it's making noise in game or not, the fact that I'm not having to listen to it. Oh. Wait, are they really working their way down this way? Ah, there you are, big boy. Oh my lord, look at that thing. What do we think? Try and do a walking heart shot? And we'll wait till he gets nice and close. Okay. Just kind of planted your head in the ground there, didn't you? Wait, are you both eating? Okay. Come on, pick your head back up. I'm going to keep scooting around. Unless I... Th yeah, because I can't... That's actually kind of weird. Oh, it's the grass that's hiding him. Okay. I'm going to keep scooting around, trying to get in a more elevated position. My goal is to either double lung him for just completing the thing, or being able to get it to where he's going to walk head on towards me to get that heart shot. The spotting in this game works so much better. I will, I will give him that. I'm not sitting here having a spam uh, thing. Can you give me a shot there? You know what? That's double lung. Actually, should we try and punch through the leg? I think this thing's got the power. I think it's got the power. All right. Looks like we got our sheet. Now, how badly did I screw this up? Well, that's a rock. Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Uh, I hate the sides, the fact they can't just stop where I want them to. That is annoying. I think I got it. Lungs! What? I was too far back. I'm willing to bet. Where's my mouse? There it is, yeah. I'm willing to bet because of where it was on the leg that I hit right here, and I needed to go forward a bit. But... I'll take it, and that should be, yeah, no penalty, so. All right, well, that is two missions down of the system. I do want to take a look real quick. We're going to do a free hunt, Midwest. Um, okay, kind of, sort of. So it's a bit bigger. There still seems to be... I wonder if you can only go to regions you've completed the missions for. So we did a mission there. Did I do a mission here? I've only done two missions, and I did a mission up here. I guess because they're connected? I don't know. I'm curious to see how that works. They don't explain a whole lot, but uh, yeah. Oh, let's go to the lodge. Right, I forgot about the lodge. Okay, so it says I have something in Mule Deer. Look at that, and if I hit R, 
I see. So my highest ranking buck and doe are going to be up here, left and right. And then it's going to give me the stats on all the mule deer I've hunted. So here, this one is a 219 pound. That's the heaviest I've gotten. I have harvested two males, both with lung shots because of it's actually telling all this. Where's my mouse? All down here. So, and then red fox. So it did get my red. All right. One female. It was a, it wasn't a vital hit. 12.8 pound. And then there's my bighorn sheet. So it doesn't have the custom customization of like Call of the Wild. You can't organize it or classic for that matter. But for me personally, it's the hunt. The hunt is what does it. So what I would like to be able to do is like change the lighting. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. So you just hit F. Ah, reload. Anyways, so that's kind of cool. That's a cool little shooting range setup. I'm guessing there's something I could do with shotguns too if I wanted. But I would love it if there was either some farther targets or some closer targets. There we go. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this one. Definitely going to keep working on the campaign and stuff. Oh, there's more stuff over here. What is this? Competition. I'm guessing... Oh, because of course you can have multiplayer. Enter weapons tent. Oh, and then it's literally a tent to change. But I haven't unlocked anything else. Okay, anyways. That's going to do it for this one. I mean it this time. So there's buttons if you liked it. Buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.